with Jesse Mayshark of Compass. That's an online publication that focuses on Knoxville and Knox County government in particular. We're going to talk about something we've seen at the local level and the national level, and that is a reluctance to debate by certain candidates. Jesse, let's just lay the groundwork. We're seeing this across the country, in particular in places like Georgia and Iowa just this year. Yeah, and I think it's something that, you know, for a long time, it was just assumed that appearing at debates and forums with your opponents was part of running for office. And I think that goes, it's old in American political tradition. It, it predates, you know, broadcast news. It was the way for people to actually get to see and hear candidates in person. So I think partly what's been happening is just as there are more avenues, obviously with social media now, there's so many ways for candidates to get their messages out in an environment that they can kind of control more than in that less predictable live setting. Uh, I think you're seeing more candidates being cautious about when and how they're willing to debate. Part of the reason for that we've talked about is perhaps a slip up might get you that 10 or 15 seconds you don't want on social media or YouTube as a meme or some example the other campaign can use against you. That may be a reason some aren't taking part. Absolutely. There's that fear, the viral moment. Uh, and I think there's also, you know, for a candidate who's running, who is an incumbent or is maybe better known than their opponent, appearing on the same stage with them kind of elevates them up to your level. It, it appears to put you at sort of an even uh, level for the voters. And I think that's a position that some candidates don't want to put themselves in. It, there's kind of a vulnerability there. We saw this in particular with Congressman Duncan when he was in office, not wanting to debate an opponent who may be, quote unquote, lesser in the political arena. Right now, Representative Burchett, I haven't seen on stage or online anywhere with his Democratic opponent, Mark Harmon. Um, but we should give credit where credit is due. Senator Briggs, and you wrote about this recently, is appearing with his Democratic challenger. Yeah, and Senator Briggs, I think, is one of the, he's a bit of an old school guy when it comes to uh, civic service. And I think he very much does see it as part of his job to be out there speaking to whoever uh, wants to have him come and speak. Uh, and, you know, as reporters, I think that's something that we like to see just because we want to see these candidates in those settings too, how they respond to each other, how they respond to questions. For more background, you can head to compassknox.com. Jesse, always appreciate the analysis.